hey everybody welcome back to my channel mommy trader if you are new here welcome to the channel I hope you like what you see and stick around and if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for coming back you guys know that on this channel I am documenting my family's journey to financial freedom and independence and we plan on achieving that through investing in the stock market investing in real estate cryptocurrency and overall increasing our net worth so if that sounds interesting to you go on and hit that subscribe button and like the video I promise you you are gonna like what you see I am not a guru I'm just a gal on who's on her own personal journey and documenting it so that I can look back and see the progress and also if it gives you motivation to start your own wealth building journey maybe you've been sitting on the sidelines this could be your opportunity to kind of get in and build wealth for you and your family so on today's video I'm going to be talking about five tips to prepare for a stock market crash now again no one can time the market there are tons of videos out there on YouTube there are tons of people talking about it on CNBC and different channels like that about when the stock market crash is going to happen is it going to happen in 2021 we don't know I don't know I am not Nostradamus I'm not some person who can kind of foresee the future because if I could I could tell you I probably would be a quadrillionaire by now or someone else probably would be but no one knows so the best way to prepare for a stock market crash is not to get you all scared and riled up but to help you prepare for when it happens because market corrections do happen and it's actually healthy for the overall stock market and again instead of trying to tell you um, to cash out or to to you know instill fear I want to help you be prepared because I am prepared so when it happens I can pounce so let's get into the video so the first tip that I'm going to give is before you even think of investing you should always have an emergency fund in place now emergency funds can vary it depends on your own family and your own situation again your situation may not be like my situation a thousand dollars may be enough for one person but another person may need and may feel comfortable with five thousand dollars again personal finance and this is included in investing personal finance is what it is personal so you do best what's for you, best for what's best for you and your family so again the first thing before you even put money in the stock market is to have an emergency fund in place 2020 just passed and 2021 isn't getting off on a great start so you always should have some cash to fall back on and not keep invested it should be in a high yield savings account and high yield is kind of funny nowadays because you're not really getting a whole lot in terms of interest but again something is better than nothing and the idea is you want to keep your emergency fund somewhere where it is easily accessible you don't want to have to cash out positions and then you may have to wait for your money to settle because you were invested in a particular stock or fund but rather you can have it in an account where you can kind of go and get it if you need it the next tip tip number two is to figure out a plan you have to have a plan you you think okay the stock market is going to crash so what is your plan when it does crash you should write your goals down or type them up or do both I love writing things down and my husband loves to see things typed up you can do both because that's what's best for you and your family if it is um, and what you need to do is to create investing goals you can tell yourself short term I would like to get 10 shares of Apple this year so I'm going to that's one of my short term goals long term I may want to build up and get 50 shares of Apple if you're looking at the current price of Apple it's about hundred and twenty eight dollars per share that's a lot of money so short term you can give yourself easily attainable goals so that when a correction happen or perchance you see Apple down 10 percent or 15 you can go ahead and buy some shares and that is why it's so important to have a plan in place you don't want to just invest in the stock market even when the market does crash or corrects and not have a plan not have a goal because then you'll be all over the place and I'm telling you it is very easy to lose money in the market without a, a hardcore plan and run your plan and your goals by someone else sometimes it's 
we can kind of get so caught up in it that we don't see any flaws or a better way of doing things and putting it past someone even someone on YouTube if you want a buddy to kind of keep you accountable I'm more than happy to be here you can always email me or leave a comment in the description box and I will reply to you if you want someone just to kind of bounce off your ideas that's very very important when investing and building wealth now moving on to tip number three you have to actually open a brokerage account now brokerage accounts or a taxable brokerage account is basically just investing post-tax dollars so this is not 401k or HSA or things like that this could be a Roth this could be opening up a Robinhood account Weeple account Fidelity M1 finance whichever you want to do you have to actually go on and open it so that when the stock market does correct and you're ready to kind of go in and buy you can do that you don't want to just be getting started at this point now when you do open a brokerage account if you are a beginner and you're just kind of getting your feet into this Robinhood is probably one of the best uh, platforms out there it is very user friendly I have videos about Robinhood on this channel go on and back and look I'm very open you see my real numbers you can actually see me buying shares I actually talk about how to buy shares on Robinhood and so again you want to open a brokerage account yes they're going to ask you for your driver's license number social security they're going to ask you for some personal information because this is a legal legit account and if you are interested in open up a Robinhood account could you please use my link in the description box below I get free stock you get a free stock it doesn't cost you anything is absolutely free to open and the second piece of this tip is to add money and be consistent and so again say you want to add two hundred dollars a month and you want to have one hundred dollars every two weeks added add your money every month or every time you get paid be really consistent you don't want to get start started and stop that's not going to help you on your journey remember it takes time to build wealth and what Warren Buffett says I really do love time in the market beats timing the market and in order to get in the market you have to have money and you have to be consistent about it and put it to use and so again add money in and and it don't have to be a whole lot whatever you can do to um, add every month or every time you get paid is fine again it's you don't have to have a thousand dollars every check because somebody else is doing it do what's best for you as long as you are consistent about it now tip number four is to once you put your money in your Robin Hood or your M1 finance or whatever account you have you don't want it just to sit there because again it's not making money for you it's not working so one of the best ideas that I think I've ever heard came from Chris Saint. And if you don't know who Chris Saint is, he is one of the best investing, trading people on YouTube. Just type it in the search bar. He's the what's up YouTube guy. Very humble, very down to earth, transparent, and very relatable. One of the things he says that I really love is that when you are waiting for a correction or you read, you're waiting to get in to a stock that you know hits your price point hits your strike price price the price where you want to get in at you need to hide your money in a safe stock or an ETF or index fund something that doesn't shoot up too much or falls too much it kind of really does trade sideways but something that pays a dividend and so uh, some of the safe stocks and funds that I have used and have seen other people use is AT&T which is ticker T um, you have Verizon as well which is ticker V you have VOO which is an ETF it kind of tracks the overall S&P 500 which is basically like the 500 um, biggest companies in the market and you have KO which is Coke and I purposely used some of the tickers and some of the um, actual names of the companies because it's very important that you familiarize yourself with the tickers and actual names of what you're invested in but more on that later just right now you want to put your money while you're waiting for a correction put it somewhere safe and the great thing is that these pays dividends so they're going to pay you for just simply owning the stock so let's say you put two hundred dollars a month in your Robinhood account and you want to kind of save it there so when you see a correction or you see a pullback let's say in Tesla you can get in well until that time you can hide your money in AT&T and they'll pay you a dividend just for owning the stock this is a win-win situation and again you can pull money from this when you're ready to use and invest in something else these will actually pay better returns than uh, the traditional savings account that's why I said put it in 
your uh, brokerage account because when you already you don't want to have to worry about with trying to tr- you know transfer it from let's say your Capital One to your Robinhood, which takes time and takes days, or if you want to wire it, it's actually a wire fee. So again, just have it in a safe place where you can access it when needed, and you're actually getting paid to put it there. And my last tip, tip number five, is no panicking. Now, when you see the market falls, you're going to see a whole lot of red. It can be very stressful. It can induce fear. It can make you panic and close your positions. And you don't want to do that. Remember, you have to think differently than, say, just traditional budgeting. This is investing. And if you are investing over the long term, I can tell you the market always comes back. If you remember last March when the market kind of just tanked, if you bought in at that moment you probably have three times your money if you would have brought tesla when it was 250 in march pre-split you would have been up two three four times your money right now because tesla is approaching 900 dollars post split again do not panic when you see it fall look at it as a huge sale think about it if you go to a store or you go on Amazon or somewhere do you want to want to buy anything that's kind of overly priced and there's no discount but when it falls and you see it's 12 percent off 10 percent off 15 20 percent off that's a huge sale to you and you're gonna pounce sometimes you even buy two three four of the item because it's on sale and again look at the stock market the same way you can get in at a lower price or if you already have a position dollar cost average down just put some money in say if you have two hundred dollars to use you can put seventy five dollars at this price point if it falls some more put another seventy five hundred dollars on it again if you believe in the company and you've done your own research you've uh, watched videos you kind of really did your due diligence look at it as an opportunity to get in at a discount again do not panic it's okay the market always comes back and you'll be so happy when you get in at a great price again before i end this video please know disclaimer i am not a financial advisor i'm not a fiduciary i'm just a small gal on her part of youtube that's trying to build wealth on this journey and inspire others to do the same to kind of to let them know that it's okay investing is not a scary thing it's not something just for the elite it's for anyone and if you know what you're doing and you have a plan you will be successful at this so if all of that sounded interesting to you and you really enjoyed what you saw today please go on and give this video a like it helps me out so much it helps out the channel and it helps the algorithm um, if you haven't subscribed guys come on subscribe um, and like the channel and share it with a friend and leave a comment below I love talking with you guys I do respond to comments let me know do you have a plan for when the market crash do you have uh, something that you're interested in in terms of the stock and you want to be prepared and you want to kind of be ready for that let me know in the comments I love the feedback and I love uh, chatting with you guys so again Again, if you enjoy watching the video, please go on and like it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. You guys.